Hey everybody, welcome to the Blue Collar Beer Gentlemen. I'm Topher and I started this channel because I'm a fan of craft beer, but I'm also on a limited budget. So I wanted to demonstrate it was possible to enjoy good quality beers without having to break the bank, and therefore I'm always looking for the best deals on craft beer. And today I think I found a pretty good deal on this one. I paid $3.57 for a pint can of the Spillmatic Triple IPA from Short Throw Brewing. This is actually a collaborative effort between Short Throw uh, Brewing and Equilibrium Brewing. Short Throw, uh, I have experienced only only had one of their other beers, which was the um, the product. It was the product. It was an Imperial IPA, and I got it in a pint can, also from Liquor Lineup. Liquor Lineup available is uh, here in Las Vegas on Losi Road in North uh, Las Vegas. If you're ever here in the Valley, you should check out Liquor Lineup. I, uh, but as I said, I got there um, the product uh, from uh, Short Throwing Short Throw Brewing before. I gave it a 4.25. Very fond of it. Uh, so far among the reviewing community, uh, four friends have given it a cumulative score of 4.44. 3,397 of us have given it a cumulative score of 4.29. <coughs> Was unable to find a listing for it on Beer Advocate, so I get the feeling it's a, it's a fairly new beer. Uh, this beer is actually a month and a half old. Uh, packaging date is 727, so at the time of this review, it's just over a month and a half old, actually. Uh, like maybe, what, seven weeks, maybe, maybe. Um, so anyway, uh, as I said, I paid three fifty-seven for this pine can from Liquor Lineup, and as a triple IPA, it has a ten point one ABV. Uh, I think I'm wondering almost of it if they didn't do that on purpose, because typically an American IPA comes in between five point five and seven point five on the ABV scale. Imperials come in between seven point five and ten point zero, and so this coming in at ten point one makes it a triple. And triples can either be at 10.1, a beer can either be listed as a triple of whatever it is, uh, in this case, um, IPA, or it can also be classified as a barley wine. It all depends upon the brewer. So there you have the ins and outs of that. Um, it, uh, oh, real quick, the, uh, the profile is Strata, Galaxy, and Citra. That is the hot profile. Uh, the other brewer that I failed to mention, I think I, I failed to mention, that's uh, responsible for this, because this is a collaborative beer, is Equilibrium Brewing, and I'm not familiar with them at all, haven't had anything from them, went and checked and untapped, and no familiarity with un Equilibrium Brewing at all. But as I said, 4.25 on the product from Short Throw Brewing, so I'm really looking forward to this. And because it is a triple, I will be using a tulip glass. Tulip glass is just about any glass that flares out in such a way. The new Taku glasses that you see everybody using, those ones with the long stems, those could be used as tulip. Uh, those can be used for pretty much anything, as near as I can tell. I've seen people putting all kinds of beers in those glasses. So anyway, but this is a this is a typical Belden style, and with the uh, flaring out here at the top, it makes it tulip. All right, well, let's just get a nice, good, healthy pour in here. Whoa! Let's not pour it all over the. Uh, got all over. Got some on my pants and some on the couch. Not sure quite how that worked out, but there you have it. Okay, I'm gonna describe that as a very light golden color, um, almost canary uh, color. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna bring this over to the light a little bit closer, and I'm seeing, I'm gonna describe that as, well, I, I, I used to do my reviews out in the sun, and I would see the, uh, the carbonation. I'm not seeing the carbonation like I used to. But I'm still going to describe that as medium low. I'm not seeing a surplus of bubbles. As you can tell, this uh, head isn't going anywhere. Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of bubbles popping on top of that. So it's fairly resilient in that respect. Let's give this a quick uh, whiff, see what I can encounter. Uh, it's definitely picking up those citra hops and, uh, and galaxy too. Galaxy has that, um, is that sort of piney and citrus uh, smell, I, I've noticed anyway in, in the hop composition. And I said Citra Galaxy and Strata. Strata was the other. Not uh, again. I not say that I, I can't say that I'm familiar with the uh, aroma of Strata uh, hops. Very hoppy. Uh, not really noticing much of uh, boziness on the bouquet. So I'm going to go ahead and and start drinking. Cheers. Okay, I'm going to describe that as a medium high mouthfeel uh, spikiness to this. There was a little bit of an alcohol burn, 10.1 ABV, that's to be expected. I mean, you figured it was going to have to be there. Um, first impressions, very, very hoppy, but not overly bitter. Uh, I don't have an, uh, an IBU count for you. A lot of brewers not doing the IBU count so much anymore. I'm guessing they're, they're going off of that. 
This is not particularly bitter. This is um, very hop forward, though. Uh, I, I say it's not particularly bitter because I am a fan of, of IPAs. And so probably if someone else, uh, if one of my lady friends who is here, uh, Heidi or, or Whitney, uh, were, were drinking this, they might describe it as being very bitter. I'm going to say it's, it's probably somewhere around, I don't know, 50, 60 on the IBU scale. Uh, but it is more hop forward, I would say, than bitter. Um, I'm not going to go so far as to call it a creamy finish, but it is a nice rounded finish on this one. And, um, you know, as I said, I, I like the, the product a lot. Uh, I, it came in a can that got a 4.25. Obviously, the beer got a 4.0. Uh, this one, this one, I think I'm probably going to give it a 3.75. And, uh, you know, and because it came in a can, it's going to get a 4.0 from me. Um, it's a good beer. I just, I remember the product very, very fondly. And this is not quite as good. And I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not comparing it to, that's not the way to compare, that's not the way to uh, score a beer. Uh, is to say, you know, how it compares with other beers from the same brewer. I'm just saying, I like that other one enough to give it a 4.0. Uh, this one I'm liking enough to give it a 3.75. So anyway, it's going to get its 4.0. As you can see, we've got some nice lacing on there. And uh, all in all, this is, this is a good beer. I'm going to recommend it to you. At, at 3.57, I still say it's a hell of a deal. Well, guys, if you like this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, drink good beer and don't break the bank doing it. Cheers.